Today we're going to show you how to hook up the model A77 deimidostat that comes with the 320 pint units and the 210 pint unit. On all the current and in dehumidifiers, they have this user interface on them and with the 320 pint units and the 210 pint units, we include the model A77 dehumidistat that can be used to uh, measure humidity down at the canopy height. So I'm going to show you today how to hook these two together and once we do hook it together, we have to get into the installer setup menu to tell the unit that this control is attached to it. We've got this in the quick start manual um, as, as well, the wiring diagram, the simple instructions how to do that, the step, uh, setup menu steps that you have to go through. Because Just because we wired the control to the user interface, it does not know that it's there. We have to go into the installer setup menu and tell it that it has an external control on it. Um, underneath of this cover here is the wiring terminals. We have a bunch of information on here. The most important thing is 1-800-972-3710. If you have any questions, call us, talk to us. We'll help you get through setting this up properly. These wiring terminals pull off to make it easy to connect the wires to instead of trying to get your fingers in there. So there's a bunch of different terminals for a bunch of different things in here, but we're gonna use this control as a remote. Um, so we're only gonna use this set of terminals. And you can see it says remote, and it says plus, minus, A, and B. I've got a terminal block. I've wired it up to go on here. I've got red going to plus, white going to minus, green going to A, and blue going to B. There is no particular order that you have to do that in, but we do got to make sure, we do need to make sure that they match up, that we're going plus to plus, minus to minus, a to A and B to B. To remove the back of the control from the face, you just pull this off of there. And we're gonna wire this control to those terminals. So I am gonna wire this up. I wanna make sure that we get them good and tight in there. The screwdriver wedges in there a little bit, so we wanna make sure that we're getting that tied down good. So I've got, I'm gonna double check, I've got I've got um, R plus, red on plus, C minus, white, C minus, or minus white, green on A, and blue on B. So I'm just gonna try and tug on each one of these wires a little bit individually to make sure that they are in there good and snug and they're not coming out. So, yeah, I'm gonna plug the, the head back onto that base. There are a set of pins right here that line up in these holes, it goes in there. going to flash the firmware information on the front and now it's showing what the relative humidity is in our facility. Um, now here are some steps that we'll follow along with our quick start guide as well. It's right here, tells us what to do. We have the unit plugged in, we have it turned on, we have, it says off on the screen. On the user interface we want to make sure that it says off on there. Um, when we're getting into the installer setup menu and we can touch any button on here to turn on the backlight to wake up the control. If the backlight's not on, it will not, you cannot program it or do anything. So first button push, always any button turns on the light. Light's on now. Now we're going to hold the mode button down for approximately 15 seconds. And now we're in the installer setup menu. And you can see the very first thing it asks us if we have a remote, and that's what we just wired up, a remote and it is wired up and it says disabled. I want to enable that. So I'm going to push it till it says enabled. And now I'm going to push the remote button repeatedly until it said done on the screen. And now it came back to off. Now this is a step that most people miss. It's still off, so we have to turn it on. So we're going to push the on off button. And now it says remote. And this is now controlling the unit. So going to take a look at this control here. Um, it also has to be turned on. So we're going to push the on button and now the little word on is displayed. Now just because it says it's on doesn't mean the dehumidifier should be running yet. So um, on power up on this first uh, setup it takes three minutes for the unit to um, before it will start up. We have a three minute time delay to protect our compressor from power outages. So every time power comes on there's a three minute delay and afterwards if the humidity in the room is higher than the set point, so I'm going to move this down as low as I can get it because it's pretty dry in here to 35% relative humidity. 
It's gonna go back to the room humidity of 40% humidity. So within three minutes, this word on should start flashing, saying that the dehumidifier should be on. Now normally, if the unit is just sitting there off and you would walk up to the control and adjust the set point, it would turn on immediately. But during a power um, cycle, power outage or a power cycle, there's a three minute delay. That's where we're, we're in right now is our three minute delay. If this unit has any problems and that we get a diagnostic code on the screen, it'll display it here. It'll also display it there. Now you can hear the unit is on. Um, the um, word on is flashing, so we're telling the dehumidifier to be on, and it is on. So everything is wired up and working properly. As always, give us a call at 800-972-3710, and we'll be glad to help you with any installation, diagnostic, sizing, or anything you have, we're there for you.